to you, it's me, Scotty McClure, and we are live with the internet phone in. Fantastic stuff. Nine o'clock on Tuesday, the 5th of October. Nothing gets past me, you see, and lovely to have you with us, of course. And a very, very warm welcome to all our lovely brothers and sisters on TikTok. Deaky do TikTokers, lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. That is just amazing, fantastic stuff. Lovely to have you with us as well, always. So there we go. So we've got our TikTokers, and we've got our Twitchers, we've got our YouTubers, and we've got our Facebookers, and that is absolutely fantastic. For that, I thank you. Welcome, 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 I say. Now then, who have we got here? Lots and lots of chat. Number, uh, what are we at tonight? Is it number 39? That's the stuff, number 39 tonight. And we're up for all the chat, dinky-doo, from Scotty McClue. Hi from Coles Norton. Hello, the inspiration for Da Vinci's David. Good afternoon, sir. I thank you very much. Are you talking you or me? <laughs> what a privilege to have us all together in the one place. Tremendous. Now, you've got the number in front of you, so you know you can give us a call at any time. How tremendous that. Our Facebookers should be back with us tonight. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for my lovely, lovely TikToks. Share the live. Long time no see, Scotty, says T-Smart. There we are. Tremendous. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for 20 beautiful TikToks. That is so very, very kind of you. Uh, there we go now. Hello all, says Suzanne. Kareem says, can't get through. The lines are very busy, Kareem. Uh, Dinky-doo, Scotty, how art thou? Eddie Doyle, I art absolutely tremendous. Dinky-doo, Scotty, from Tenerife. Ah, Steve McMahon in Tenerife. We love this. This is the gorgeous thing about the internet phone in. Much and all, as I adore local radio, it's just so lovely to be talking around the world. David was Michael Angelo, not Da Vinci. Dave Deprave. Good point, Dave. Excellent stuff. Scotty, have you ever considered doing a podcast? Well, Brun, what would be the difference between this and a podcast, because this gets uploaded to YouTube, and we really need to get YouTube moving. So if you're watching on YouTube tonight, make sure you've subscribed and tapped the bell and shared the channel with everybody in your social media bubble. Hi, Scotty and folks, says Neil, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Tonight, our main subject for discussion. Are we dealing with a generation that have been brought up by their grandparents? Have grandparents brought up their sons and daughters, sons and daughters? So there we are. And should we look at, and this it might sound a bit controversial, but it's not should we look at one-wage families? Should we look at the women staying at home or the men staying at home and bringing up the children, right? And just having one person earning the money. I shall tell you about all this later. I'll explain it to you. Fantastic. Good evening, Dave. Dinky-doo says, D. Gurley. How amazing is that? D. Gurley. Fantastic. Right. To your telephones, I say. And let's hear from you. Yes, indeed. Scotty McClure on the phones. There we are. Uh, make the UK great again. Well, I think the UK Brexit's clobbered the UK. So it will be very difficult to do that. So I think the only way to make the component countries of the UK great is for the UK to split. And then we will see what is what. Dinky-doo. Right. The phone line should be open. Um, if you've been trying and trying, ringing and ringing and ringing, and redialing and redialing and redialing, let's hear from you, I say. Kirby the Annihilator, good evening, good evening, meet, says Adam. Yes, Adam, I, I do love the good evening, but I'm wondering about the term meet. I'm wondering if we should actually do something about that. So there we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Dinky-doo, Scotty, it's Glenn. Glenn, how are you, la? Are you dinky-doo? Yeah, I'm dinky-doo yourself. Fan absolutely dinky-doo. And we've got everybody with us tonight. And we've I got the TikTokers. I tried to ring a few times. It 
it says the person you have called is not available at the moment. Well, I think so, really there's so many people ringing at one I time, it jams it up. It gremlin, the gremlins in there. Like, well, no, much, I yeah. think just the system is not geared yeah. for what we are doing. Yeah. You're that, Scotty, you're that powerful, isn't it? You're that good. It's, well, I don't know about good, Glenn, but it's huge, I can come tell on, you come that. On. Come on. Come on, Scotty, don't put yourself, don't sell yourself short. Don't you know? sell yourself short. Uh, I don't know, Glenn, are you on the TikTok? Uh, I am, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. There's some great TikTok videos uploaded, and there's some great Definitely. YouTube uh, videos uploaded, if you're on the YouTube. Nice one. Yeah, so it's good this, stuff um, for you. Scotty, uh, there's some international football this week, Scotty. Eh? All right, well, listen, we agreed never to be put off by football. Because once yeah, you funny. start that, once you start running scared yeah. of other media, you've got a serious problem. So as far as Scotty yeah, McClue's no. concerned, we'll do what we do. And if people Scotty, like you know, it, good. Scotty, you know, when you have all these adverts going for half time and yeah. whatever, stadiums and whatnot, it should say, uh, at half time, put the Scotty McClue show on. on they YouTube. should, yes. Their adverts should say that. Yeah. They should all say, Scotty McClue is live. During like the breaks. I like what you've done with Banner anyway, Sky, black and blue. You like the old black and blue? Definitely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> are you going to put some... Uh, There's somebody recalling the fact that we've got the world record for calls, 460,000. Scotty, Scotty, did you hear one or two negative millions last night on comments? I thought, what? Yeah, there's one or two negative, but you see, you've got to remember there's a wee touch of the green-eyed monster out there. Winner. When they're saying all sorts of rubbish to, about you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, they, see, they wish they were you. Scotty, if you can get any better, if you can do any better, put some out of there, and, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Listen, anybody in the world can do yeah. what I'm doing. Scotty, it's great presentation, what you do. You know, they just need to pop up and do it, so there's no need for any jealousy. There's no need for any animosity, is there? Really? No need for honest, any animosity, no need for I'm... any jealousy, no need for any uh, knocking people, you know what I mean? If you don't like it, scroll by. Scotty, I think it's pathetic at times where people go on. Well, I think people just don't um, understand it. A guy today says, to think I used to respect you because I told them about Queen, you know. What? He goes, to what? think I used to respect you and now I find out that you're just... You know, it, you know the, all this about the monarchy, and I thought, no, yeah, we're just telling yeah. them straight. It's nothing to do with that, you know. I'm just yeah, giving them the facts. You know, I mean, get, get a grip in it, some people. Get a grip. Uh, These people I mean, need to grow up, Glenn. I think what it is, they, they like a difference of opinion, and they just like to make themselves look big down. Like, that's what I think it comes down to. So I think they, want they to think they'll big things up. By they putting want, other want, people down. They want that 15 minutes of so-called fame, don't they? That's what they That's want. That's what they're after. There's and John Boy from Port Glasgow here. Well, Are you still it, telling it straight? Scotty, when it comes to his... his I think it is John saying MBS. MBS, yeah. MBS yeah, they've got problems, I these people, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, clearly they're watching you, aren't they? They're, they're, they're watching your broadcast, obviously. They're, they're well, watching, they must be watching it, and they're, they're getting it for free. Now, I don't think there's too much to moan about there, do you? I definitely don't. I think <laughs> it's, um, like I said, there's enough out there for people to do what they want to do. I mean, everything what you're doing is fantastic. Well, bless you, Glenn. You're a top man. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna nip off now because they're going bananas. So, um, like <laughs> I said, Three will be on next, obviously, and then hopefully we'll get some fish callers on. And yeah, I hope we have Kareem on next. That would be lovely. That definitely, Scott. I know he's, he's certainly tried to ring because he said I can't get through. Yeah, we've we've all all we yeah, all regulars always try to phone up first, don't we? Which well, we like that, you know. But you popped up first tonight, Scotty. You oh. were the man back in the day. What do you mean back oh. in the day? There's a oh. guy from Ireland telling us he's a clown. Oh. Well, we're in now at the moment. It's autumn. It just yes, we've just gone into autumn last week. The the well, the, the, autumn, the, yeah. the summer solstice, autumn it's, solstice. Um, when's winter, Scotty? Is it November? For what? When's the, when's winter start? 
Oh, winter starts at, yeah, it'd be late November, I would think. Late November, yeah. Late November, you get winter what, a bit, uh, you know. I, I know you're not much of a football fan, but what do you reckon to a winter world cup next year? Well, very interesting. Hey, Glenn, yeah. here's a guy. Scotty, look how you've grown. It's a winter world cup in December, Scotty. Oh, you know, like, right. Well, I um, think I think you'll find that a lot of people during winter can settle down and enjoy phone in. Because in Qatar, it's summer in December. That's it. That's it. So, yeah. Now. I think it's, um, it's, it's one of the best times, I think. You, everybody's going to be wanting to just prepare for Christmas, are they, when, when this is going on? Absolutely. And I can't think of a better place to do that than on the phone in. Uh, have you got your Christmas uh, shopping ready? Yeah, I've ready? got everything in. I've got a, a, you know, a, quarter, of, uh, a quarter of chocolates. Nice one. So we've got all, and I've got a, a glass bottle of glucose drink. Beautiful. We're laughing. I mean, everything's, all seasons come into place, don't they, Superboxes? Have you noticed that? Of when course they do. Here's somebody asking, is Glenn calling from inside a tin of Prince Albert's tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Scott, oh, there's a million people out there. They're good. Hello from Brisbane in Australia, from John Robertson. Uh, Scott, What's the furthest people that have phoned up from uh, on your phone as well? The what, love? What's the furthest people phoned up from overseas? From oh, well, there's a guy uh, saying hi, hi from Brisbane in Australia. I like the phones with my phone last night. I know where the last call I want to get America calling as well. And Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, we want to get them all on for a quick chat. Definitely, Scott. Hey, and dinky doola. See you, lad. Top man. That's our Glenn. What a great guy. You're live on Scottish phone in, is that? Hello? Mr. Nobody wasting his time. Right. If you're phoning up, don't waste your time. Come on and have a proper chat. That's what I say. Fantastic stuff. Now, what do we got here on, on the chat? Let's see if we can get a minute. Um... Dinky do Scotty, your day. Hello, everybody. Nino. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Hi, Nino. Fantastic stuff. Let's hope I don't get banned tonight. Fantastic. Right, who's calling? Let's see what's going off here. Are you live on Scotty's phone in? Are you live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem. Brilliant stuff. Busy on the phones tonight. It is. I couldn't get through. I phoned when you came on and it just says you, it just cut out. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, I think it's just mobbed. I can see the numbers down here. And, oh, uh, right. you know, and it goes up to things like nine and ten. And then I think we get problems because oh, I think right. what we're trying to do on a shoestring, uh, but uh -huh. doing it very well on a shoestring. And thank you uh -huh. for everybody's generosity or we couldn't do it at all. And I think what we're trying to do is uh, is just stretches the system a bit. But we're going to press on. Yes, absolutely. You know, Definitely. we've come this far with it. We're into week number five. We're into show number 39, I think. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. Now yes, then, I there's somebody going, saying, going, going. hello from Aberdeen, going, going, going. Kareem. We've got everybody yeah. on in the TikTok as well. Yes, the TikTokers, absolutely. I love the TikTokers. I popped up this morning and did an early bird on TikTok and got joined by over a thousand people. Fantastic. You know, at, yeah. at something like, I can't remember, I think it was about 20 to 7 in the morning, you know. Really early, yes. No, Just a, a bit of chat. Healthy. <laughs> um, today, Scotty, is National Favourite Teacher's Day. Ah! So, we can ask you who is your favourite teacher oh, and why. I can tell you that, Karim. Uh, <laughs> a man that we called universally Uncle Jack. He was a right. music teacher. He was from Dumbarton. He was born in 1912, and um, he taught in, I think, the local school, the Vale of Leaven or whatever, and then uh, he went after he was in the Second World War, and he flew swordfish, fairy swordfish, off the Ark Royal. Right. And to this day, you can see pictures of that. So he was a lieutenant in the RNVR because he was slightly older, being born in 1912. He was an outstanding musician, and then um, he was 20 years in Kenya. 
uh, teaching at a big public school in Kenya when it was still oh. under uh, uh, British East Africa. Uh -huh. And he did 20 years, and then Kenya got independence in 63. He did another five years and then came back to Scotland in 68, and he was uh -huh. just different class. And in those days, teachers could be a bit violent towards young people. You know, yes. maybe a pull of the hair or a bit of a slap if they cheeked up. Uh -huh. And uh, he said to me once, he said, I only, he was an absolute gentleman. And he said, uh -huh. I only once struck a boy and I regretted it terribly. And uh -huh. that was him. And he was uh -huh. just, there was never anything like that. He was just different class. And in those days, teachers could also put you down. They would look and say, you'll never amount to anything, boy. You're just an idiot. You know, that sort of stuff. So they would do that. You'll never amount to anything. He was different class. He said to me, what is it you want to do when you leave school? I said, go into banking, sir. And he said, oh, I can see you now. He said, my friend, as a manager in the Standard and Chartered Bank in Africa, he said, I could see you with your rolled umbrella. And this lot, this lot will pass you. And I'll say to you, who were they? And you'll say, oh, some riffraff I used to know in school. And he just painted a picture. And the very yeah. first day he came in, Kareem, we didn't know what to expect. And it was all boys. It was a music class. And in those yeah. days, a music class quite often consisted of singing community songs from the Oxford uh, Book of Songs. Right. And uh, he came into the class, said, good afternoon, boys. And uh, we said, good afternoon, sir. And there was a big boy at the back with his feet on the seats. And he said, can you take your feet off the seats? And he said, it's all right, sir, I'm quite comfy. And he said to him, he said, and you could barely hear this, Kareem, but he fixed him with a stare straight at him right through me. I was sitting in front and he goes, don't ever speak back to me. And the guy, the feet came off the seats and he sat himself up. And then he said, right, boys, page 52, off we go. And sat at the piano. And that was him. And he was just such a source of encouragement. He did all the school shows. He was massive in music in the area. And his stories of Africa were outstanding. And he taught really famous people. And I've met both of them. Ah. And I told, I told them, and they went, yes, he did. He taught me music. And one was a very, very famous musician, and the other's a very famous politician. It's funny the power that a teacher can have on a person. There'll be people listening just now that have not been school for God knows how many years. Yeah. But if they sit back and think of that one teacher, that yeah. was outstanding. But... Sadly, see, there'll be people that can think of a teacher that, oh my God, they were hell for me, the, the torture, just, you know, the, the, the anxiety, the stress, the pressure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's, 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 a funny, it's a funny thing how the power, it just, it's in the back of your mind. Well, you, you know, know it's, it's so it's, interesting yeah. because I, um, I hosted a concert and it was a concert for schools and I actually recalled him. I said, you never know how far a teacher's influence goes. And I recalled him. This might be two or three years ago. And I recalled right. him. And, uh, you know, that. And he would now be, of course, obviously something like 109. And when my mother rang me to say Uncle Jack passed away, mm -hmm. I was devastated. And I was walking by the Lancaster Canal on the uh -huh. afternoon of his funeral. And I really felt this big hollow because yeah. this wonderful man had left the world. Yeah, yeah. But think how many people he's inspired. Oh, for goodness sake, yes. And I'll tell you, he did, he did, it, it was the same result, but a different technique. So you might have had a senior master that would shout to us, where are you supposed to be, boy? You say, yes. in mathematics, or get there now. So there was uh, that. Then he would call you over and go, hey, stop. Come here. Where are you supposed to be? Mathematics, sir. Right, listen. The boss is on the prowl, so be careful. Get up the stairs now. Go that yeah. way. And he would yeah. just send you up another stair. Yeah. That's clever, that, because you, you start, you're still doing the same thing. You do the same thing, way. but you feel the teacher's on side with you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, I'll, I'll give a wee story. Are you are you almost sorry you asked me the question now, Kareem? What's that, sorry? Are you almost sorry you asked me the question? I mean, I had no, so no, many no, teachers I... like that. One was a famous artist, another yeah. taught chemistry but was a famous musician and an authority right. on steamships. He was a joy to behold, and he could have had the baton of any international orchestra, but he taught wow. in the school. Uh, he'd been the head boy originally and all that stuff. And he'd uh -huh. never been away from the school apart from doing his degree. Then he came back and taught, you know. Uh -huh. So he was outstanding. Another one was a, 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 a spokesperson for a massive political party. Right. Excellent. Do you know, so I mean, they were, they were very influential people. Yeah. Could you name someone that you felt, my goodness, they, they, they shouldn't have went into teaching? <laughs> or did you uh, have anybody well, like no, that? They were, they were all quite spectacular. Um, yeah. We had a wonderful old guy, beautifully turned out with a very bad limp and a stick. And I once asked what happened to him, because a lot of them had been in the Second World War, and a boy uh, had run into him with a bicycle and broken his leg. Oh, goodness, right. You know, and that right. was him crippled for life, but he turned up every day. We had another one with a wooden leg, that got a boat at seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning and came to the school. Wow, right, right. I I can remember uh, it was a negative experience um, and I felt um, it was primary four and it was a stand-in teacher um, and he made me feel so small and made me cry in front of the class. Um, and it was, he went up to, you know, the boards they used to have, it was uh, black was this Was boards. this last week? <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I was in primary four, many <laughs> moons ago. Sorry, I shouldn't be making light. I knew you'd appreciate that. <laughs> and um, he basically said, what is that? And I said, that's 11. <laughs> and he, he, he shouted, and you know when you're a wee primary four, and it was an older man, I think he was near retirement, and he went off, he said, he shouted, what is that? I says, it's a living. And I said, no, it's not. It's a one and a one. And he pointed so hard into my shoulders. Yeah. And I will always remember that. But what was really, um, really disappointing was the fact that when I told my mum that, she complained to the school what the teacher done. I, I felt he was mildly racist, obviously, because of my name and uh, my, my background. However, um, what was disappointing, the head teacher pulled me to the side and said, how dare you make a, uh, raise a complaint about, uh, I won't say his name, uh, he's an outstanding teacher. And I just thought that was such, uh, I mean, although he was a supply teacher, it was I didn't get into trouble. I was good at primary school, and I think teachers knew that, but I just felt very bad judgment by that head teacher taking that supply teacher's um, word for whatever he told them. I didn't hear anything about it again, but that was just something. To, I'm now 40, and that still sticks in my mind. No, they do. I mean, these things, uh, these things do. They certainly do. Absolutely. Fantastic, yes. Kareem, I'm going to dash because they're all going bananas here. I know. I'm yapping on. I'll say thank you to Scotty. Good thank night. you, thank do, you. and thank you very oh, much. You. National Teacher Day. Happy day. Oh. To your telephones as soon as you possibly can. We've a lot to get through tonight. Let's hope we don't get banned tonight, says Jim Lol James. Evening all evening, Jerry. Uh, my man, Da, remember you on the radio. I'm never off putting a jaggy nettle on. I don't know what that means. Right off to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, uh, this is Terry. Terry? Yeah, Scotty, I've got to ask you, has Davey been on tonight? No, he's not been on tonight yet. Oh, right, uh, because it's an excellent show you're doing, you know. Are you liking it? I think it's absolutely fabulous. It's just that when he comes on, he's so boring. David's boring. Absolutely outrageous man he is. Yeah, but I mean, you know, so what? You know, I mean, what, what is your problem? You know, I mean, he's not costing you anything. There we are, to the telephones. I had a history teacher that had walking stick and he'd whack it in your desk and say in a voice, 
Hector has walked Yes, beachy, beachy. We love all that. Now, what have we got on the TikTok here? Happiness is a great gift, says Ken Dog's dad. Do you think the council workers are underpaid? Well, it depends which workers you're talking about. There's juice loose about this hoose. Is the council juice loose? What's that man's problem, says La Hoop. Absolutely, La Hoop. Pineapple Heat says. There we are. There's somebody on about Kareem. Uh, this was a funny BAM up 20 years ago. Thank you. Hello from Aberdeen. We love you in Aberdeen. You've got a worldwide reach, Scotty, says the boss. Yes, and the boss. I drink your health, the boss. Mm. That tea is absolutely outstanding. To the telephones as quickly as you like. Let's have a call from you. There we go. Oh, there we are now. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scott, it's Glenn again. Glenn, what can I do for you, Lar? How's it going? Well, we've we've had Kareem. You were quite right. Definitely, yeah. La Hoop says, Scotty, you're the man. Isn't that fabulous? Scotty. La Hoop's uh, a top man in Ireland. Scotty, do you think we'll have snow this year? Do you think so, Glenn? You think so? Well, can I tell you something? It yeah. was very cold this morning when I left. All right, yeah. Very cold. And I just went out to check something there, and it was very cold. I think it, do you think it has to warm up before it snows, though, doesn't it? I, I think, yeah, I think we're going to get a bit of snow sooner rather than later. I think, I think we're going to have a winter... A really strong winter this winter, Sky. Yeah, yeah. You think it'll be tough? I think so, yeah. I'll, I do like the scenery, that, to be honest. Yeah, but Yorkshire, do you know, it's interesting. I'll tell you this. I was going out to the um, northwest of Sheffield. Yeah. And uh, it was a winter's night, but the roads were all clear. And then I turned off into a country road because I had a little cottage. Mm -hmm. And I just the car just completely lost it. Yeah. And I managed to steer out of it. I was heading for, you know, these 200-year-old Yorkshire walls? I do, yeah. Well, I was heading for one of them. I thought, oh, please, God, no. Anyway, I managed to steer clear of it. I didn't feet off everything, you know. And we managed yeah. to get out of it. And when I got out, there was half an inch of solid black ice. And I'd That's come back at, I don't know, 40 miles an hour, you know. yeah. On main That's road, but when I turned off main road, there That's it was. So it just shows you, you've got to watch your sin. You definitely, when it comes to this time of year, Scott. You know, and, and, and Sheffield, as you know, it, mm. it's it's high and it gets these these beautiful, cold, frosty days. Yeah, especially in the morning, Scott. Oh, the frost on inside that window. Yeah. And yeah. you have to tell your sin, don't you? You go, get up! <laughs> Scott, it's like... I don't, I, I don't mind either season, but I don't like winter, Scott. Hey, Glenn, uh, what about God, this? I, Glenn, here's yeah. somebody on TikTok. Scotty, how do you feel about Friday night phone-in trivia, three strikes, you're out format? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and here's somebody else saying HMS Sheffield. Oh, um, what about that? And bonjour from Adam. Scotty, do you reckon you could do some culture corner on that? We might do a bit of one. No, we can't play the music, you see. Yeah, that's the problem. With that's the problem. Night, Otherwise, yeah. we'd be done for copyright. And some and some quiz nights, Scott. A bit of quiz might be an idea, you know. General knowledge and a bit of trivia. Bit of general knowledge, that stuff, a little yeah. bit of trivia. Do you like to play Trivial Pursuits, Scott? Well, do you know that I was playing Trivial Pursuits with my mother and my sister once? Yeah. And they, they came up with a question about Scotty McClue. Um, and I said, you're having a laugh with me. You made that up. They said, no, look, and showed us. And there was a trivial pursuit question about Scotty McClue. You, could, you, can't, you can't fathom me, could you? You can't make that up, can you? You, you definitely make up, can you? You know, and for, fortunately, I knew the answer. <laughs> Scotty, imagine if you didn't. Absolutely. I mean, imagine if you didn't what, know it about your sin. What do you reckon to, you know, what all these different versions of Boyle's game? About the what, Glenn? Sorry. You know, the Monopoly game? Yeah. What do you reckon to them bringing different versions? I like that? it. Is there a Sheffield version? 
There is one, yes, Scotty, yeah. Hey, brilliant, we'll have a game at that. What happens now in Monopoly, though, is you've got a cashless, um, you know, like a contact. So Monopoly. you can do things like you've just bought Medawall? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you've just... I mean... You've just you've just put some some hotels in Totley. Well, I'm done. I'm done. They go for a road and all that. Absolutely. <laughs> and Dillsborough. Dillsborough to like a yellow, I reckon, or a red. Fantastic. You've just bought Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, and, and the other one's got it. You've just bought Wednesday. Station. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you lovely. Glenn, I'm going to have to yeah. dash, laugh. Scotty, you know, when it comes to old-fashioned train stations, you yeah. know, like the, the less expensive train stations, do you think council should put more money into these stations instead of your bigger, fran bigger franchise ones with shop shopping centres? in? Yeah, I shouldn't. I, I think, I mean, anything to do with the railways. Dr. Beeching in 1964-65 made such yeah. a flaming mess of mm. this country's real. This is why I have to say... The Conservatives can be very, very damaging to our infrastructure if it's to do with ordinary people. And, you, you know, the railways in this country were outstanding. OK, some of them weren't making money, but look at what they're yeah. putting into that HS2. Do you think they should spread it out a bit more evenly? Yeah. Yeah, I certainly do. Uh, sometimes, sometimes local stations want a little bit more minimalistic. They've still got the characteristics to keep them. Yeah, they do, fashion. and I like some of them are very nice with flowers and everything. Whereas you've got these fancy train stations with supermarket, with shopping centres in them, that, and it's it takes the edge away a bit, doesn't it? It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the little yeah. local one. Yeah, I mean, you know, like Birmingham and Manchester and... Yeah, Birmingham the big like ones. That. What about the little ones where they make an announcement every 30 seconds? Please stand clear of the track. Yeah, mind the gap and all that. Please mind the gap. <laughs> and the, Please and don't the leave your luggage unattended. When you've got four train stations within a five-minute train for each other, kind of thing, five, ten-minute train for each other, and like, I, I think that I think when you're stood on a platform and you're thinking, I wish this train had air up because it's getting even colder today. Oh, stop, Glenn. You're freezing us all dinky you do lot. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll say that. Yeah. Top man, that's our plan. Uh, right now, I own hotels and Putney says Chris. Do you think the trams are a good idea in Edinburgh, David? I haven't had a chance to really take advantage of the Edinburgh trams. My concern was the buses in Edinburgh pre trams were absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's uh, Raymond. Uh, who is it? It's Raymond. Raymond, how lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Dinky do, dinky do. Ah, uh, dinky do. Somebody's saying, what about this for an announcement? Don't use the toilet while the train's in the station. Well, I'll tell you, I'm no happy, Scotty, I'm no happy. What's wrong, Raymond? The trains are no one on the Sundays now. Ah, right. So, and I like getting the train for Falkirk High, Ken. Ken, Falkirk High, and uh, what about, um, what about the, what's the other one, Falkirk High and? And Falkirk Grahamston. Grahamston, that's it, Falkirk Grahamston. And I remember uh, a friend saying, I'll meet you, but we're going to an old chum's funeral. He says, no, just jump the train and I'll meet you. And I couldn't mind if it said hi or Grahamston. So I had to look out for his car at the station. It's an easy mistake, Scotty, an easy mistake. You know, this was the problem, and I thought, oh, no, what did he say? But I'll tell you, Scotty, the last time I was on that train, Ken, Ken, I came on the announcement, Ken. if you see anything unusual, yes, text this number. Right. When you're in Falkirk, there's loads of things that are unusual. I know, you're leaving somebody's hat, you're going to be texting, you know. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, you look at the window. I'm, uh, he'd be texting them all day. There's a boy with different coloured socks on here. Aye. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you with your flat cap on again, pal. It's good, isn't it? We're back in business, eh? Back in business. Back in business, son. And, and Jeannie, the wife, Jean, she's a bit shy. Maybe ah. next week I'll phone you. 
you would like to say hello to you. Put her on and say hello any time, Raymond. I'll do that. I'll phone her mix. She's in the other room, uh, Scotty, but if you say hello, Jeannie, I'll come up next week, right? Hello, Jeannie. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, Ken. Dinky do, dinky do. Dinky do, Raymond. Keep, it, keep up the good work, Scotty. Bless you, sir. Dinky do, la la. <laughs> what a fine fellow. Right, free the flying Scotsman, says Chris. The flying Scotsman is free. Yes, she is up and running big style. Right, what do we got here? Lol, Scotty, says Suzanne. So what's this? I'm never half putting that jaggy nettle on like a hot drink. What's that? Oh, the jaggy nettle, the kettle, got you. Scotty, what land-based animal has the biggest eyes? Oh, right, let's see if we can get this one. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? 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 Hello, how are you, Scotty? Very well, who's that? It's Steve from Ilkley again. Steve, how lovely to have you with us, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. Are you enjoying the phone in? I'm joined. I'm on it. I'm already on it, yeah. I've been yeah. listening. <laughs> Fantastic, lad. Good to hear you. What's happening in yeah, real okay. world? Uh, well, I've been up Cowan Calf today. You've done what? Been up the Cowan Calf. Oh, right. Day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keeping busy. Keeping, keeping out of mischief? That's right. Yep, yep, yep. That's what it's about. And how's the pool doing? It's doing all right. Um, anyway... Everybody, you always, everyone always asks how we are. How yeah. about how you are? How, how I am. What a lovely thing to say. Yes, well, lots of lovely people ask how I am. And I think, no, how are they? So, you see, it works yeah. both ways. It does, yeah. But I don't hear much of that. No, you don't hear no. too much of that. But, no, I'm absolutely fine. I'm chuffed to bits with the quality of the people coming on here. Yeah. Well, I've followed you for a long time, as you know. But. You have indeed, sir. Yeah. Do you know, I can't believe all these beautiful people that it's coming up, as you know, 30 years in June. Yeah. And yeah, and people well. from all over the country. Ah, oh, Scotty McClough. You know? It's really quite humbling. Is it? That it is. It quite, is, yeah, yeah. Quite humbling, Steve. Absolutely la. Yeah. Now. Hello. Hello. Um, hello. Hello. I think we're losing you a bit, Steve. It's got yeah. a bit funny. You take care of your son. There we are. Do you like me? It means I'm not mad on them, dinky dude. You know, there's a mine in Calder Crooks. I didn't know that, but it is right for a mining area. Right out there and into Armadale and West Lothian. All round, there's a lot of mining out there. There's no doubt about that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Suzanne. Suzanne! We love having you on. Do you know that? I wondered when you were going to phone back. Oh, uh, I thought, I'll date the night. I'll bug the curry drop and date the night again. No, my so. darling, please don't think you need to pluck up the courage. It's just pick up the phone and have a bit chat. I don't know. I'm a bit of a coward. I'm no, you are me. not a coward. You're a very brave lady. <sighs> you look at no. what you've dealt with in your life. You are very brave. Okay. Well, most people that. don't have your courage. <laughs> well, it's just great, great to see how the everybody's coming along and it's getting bigger and bigger every night. It's developing with a wee bit of a setback, obviously, Saturday night when the phones went bananas. We, I uh, but I know what's causing that. There's just too many people trying to get on at the one time, and the system's no geared for that in the way the old radio stations were. And also, uh, but then it cost thousands and thousands of pounds in those days, you know. And then the other thing is that uh, one of the big uh, social media platforms was down last night. Mm -hmm. So we, you I'm know, we, we lost a wee bit of that. But then... That, it doesn't matter because we're here. And what I'm loving about it, Suzanne, is people are here because they want to be. And if anybody doesn't want to join us, they don't have to. We're not bothered. No. Nope. You nope. see, because the internet is so massive 
that does it. Somebody came on one time and said to me, see if you don't stop cheeking up to people, you'll lose all your listeners. I said, are uh -huh. you kidding? I said, it's just doubled. Yeah, yeah, we'll get bigger and bigger. I mean, I, we know? were here the first night and it was, remember the sound was going and all that? The sound was coming and going and there was all that going on. But then we sorted a lot of these technical things out. I was going to come back on on Saturday night because we lost a few minutes at the end of the show. But it was one thirteen before I got the phones working. Oh, and I thought one thirteen, they'll all be in their beds. Yeah, what was that, Suzanne? You sound as if you were under the water there. Hello? Oh, I think we're losing you. It sounds like you're playing the guitar. <laughs> there we are. That's our Suzanne, though, and she is one super lady, I can tell you. There we are. Yes, indeed, Chris, you're quite right. Two big platforms down for six hours. Well, we're not on the second one. I'm wondering if we can get on the second one. That's an interesting one. Yes, indeedy. Uh, now, what have we got? A chicken lived without a head for 18 months. Oh, Dave, for goodness sake. Dave, can you not put negative stuff up? Yeah, people are on here for a laugh. Vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn. Fact. <laughs> a horse-drawn vacuum cleaner. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Yes. Hi, it's Dee Gurley. Sorry, I'm trying to turn you down. Dee, oh, don't turn me down. Oh. Don't turn me off. <laughs> no, fantastic. <laughs> Dee, I can't Dee, thank you right. enough for your kindness oh, and your listen, generosity and your off. lovely message. Oh, listen, um, mm. it's well worth it. Every single penny, so don't it worry about that. It was just so good of you, and, and and your wee message that says, you know, Scotty's given us so much, let's give him a bit exactly. back, you know. Exactly, we need to give a wee bit back. And it was exactly. just so lovely of you, and I thought, oh. who on earth put all this money in? I thought, it's D. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? come on, it's twisted up. It's huge. It's no, no, it Danny, it's, it's huge, not. because I'll tell you, I'm looking for 100 angels at £7.50. Mm -hmm. So you're uh, three yeah. angels. Oh, that's lovely. You're three lovely. angels. If I get 100 at £7.50, then we can move on to the next step. I can get another exactly. wee bit of stuff because it let's, just let's means... Let's get this moving. Aye, because I just have to sit and try and save it all up, you know what I mean? And you know what it's like these days. Oof, definitely. I understand 100%. You know, you think, Listen, well, we can't do I, it. I was wanting to ask you a question. Um, I won't, I won't uh, mention any company names no. or anything like that. And I know you're a wise man. It was just a wee bit of advice. And you know how... Uh, the energy prices are like yes. rocketing at the moment. Right? Yes. So, um, oh, I have been in a dizzy all day. Um, so I wonder if I've got any hair left. Anyway, I was switching companies. Right. Um, I won't have to make this a big issue. I, I, I was in the middle of, before I had... No, you're like, fine, Dee, just relax, because listen, this is something yeah. that's of interest to everyone at the moment. Uh, right, okay, yeah. So press I, on. As I say, right. don't mention so, the companies. It makes it more flexible. So what, ha what happened was, I'm one of these people that go, compares the market all the time. and get Good. a cheaper deal. Good. And, I, you know, so I'm always one of them. So I had changed suppliers before all this gas carry-on happened. And um, I've managed to swap, but... I get charged, and then I get an email saying, I'm now with this new supplier, but um, my old supplier of gas won't let my account go. And I don't know why. Couldn't get through to them all day today, Scotty. The, the, it's, the phone light, I think the whole nation is really in a quandary with this gas. Well, a lot of these people are working from home. And the only other thing right. I will say to you, Dee, is sometimes something that looks cheaper, you think, what's mm -hmm. the backup like? So mm -hmm. I tend to rightly or wrongly stay with the kind of so-called mainstream providers. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, even although they charge a wee bit more, I know I can phone them and give them what for if there's a problem. Absolutely. Whereas Absolutely. Some, another company might say, well, we don't do that. You know, we don't have engineers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So can so this this um, 
uh, provider that I'm with, can they do that? Can they hold Well, Scottish house? TikToker on TikTok here. This is what's brilliant about this internet setup. We're getting mm -hmm. instant feedback. Scottish TikToker is very, very wise. Says because your gas will be in a contract. Ah, so right, he's okay. saying you're un you although you wanted to switch and you've said to the new law, I want to switch for you, and they're saying fine, they can't get it because you're under contract the other lot. So it depends when that expires. So when you're phoning them, and don't worry if you can't get them on the phone, they might have a chat line on the internet. And because yeah, a lot yeah. of these employees are working from home. Uh, mm -hmm. They prefer the chat things, so they go, hi, I'm Mary, yeah. I'm your person today, yep, what can I do for you? And you go, can I do it? And they go, oh, yeah, um, it doesn't expire for another three months. Yeah. So it might well, be worth checking is, that. I will, I'll look into that. But the thing is... TikTokers also you... saying, sorry to interrupt, you will no, no, need sorry. to pay your contract off first. But you see, it is, right? So my, my contract is paid off. This is what's making, making me... Ah. I just don't know what's going on. Um, my new contract, I've took on my electricity. But my old contractors are keeping my gas and not letting my account go. And that's fully paid up to date. It's not that right. I've paid it or anything. Well, there, there's so, another guy, CBS1690, is saying they have to let your account go after 48 right. hours of cancelling it. Ah, right, okay, okay, excellent, that, that, okay, that's brilliant. So that's, that's quite good. Uh, somebody's right. written here, McClue's lips to God's ears. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love these people. There's, do you know, know. There's, there's, okay, we've had a couple of uh, silly trolls try it on, but see the beautiful people on here. Of course, of course. We're all, we're all for Scotland, we're all for Scotland. And, and CBS and, says, uh, I had that problem when I moved money. home. Right, okay. So, so there's, there's, there's lots of help out there, Dee. They're all coming on and telling oh, us what's nightmare. what. Yeah, I'll have a look into it. But that, um, I forgot what you said, the, that, that fella's name, um, 48 Hours. Um, I think that actually makes a lot of sense. That so, makes sense, so um, maybe it'll take yeah, a wee while. Yeah, I'll have a look at it in the morning and find out. But, but if we'll you've officially like cancelled it, according to him, they have to uh -huh. let you go after the 48 hours. But they'll all right. be in a bit of a mess, because remember, everybody will be it trying really this. Is. I know. You it know, really and they is. should never have... I mean, you see, what it makes... I don't know that companies understand this. So the people mm -hmm. who are going to suffer from high prices... Which could be negotiated. The elderly and everything. The it's going to be the person. old people and the frail people. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. So so that's Between what's going to happen there. Now, yeah. the younger people are going to go, well, just make sure you put it off then. Yeah, yeah. You see? Exactly. They'll be sitting They'll going, well, don't don't put the heat on. What? How long's that heat on? You go, oh, well, oh, six hours oh, a day. No. Right, well, cut it down yeah. to two. yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they'll be definitely. saving their 200 quid, you know, and saying, well, they'll not be getting it, which means that the companies will not be getting it. Absolutely. Well, I was looking at it. I won't say his name on it, or whatever, but the fellow yeah. always gives a good advice out. He's, oh, I like um, him. I like him. He's amazing. He's amazing. Yes. So um, I looked into him, and he, t I mean, he's seen basically a lot of big ga gas companies of of, of the bus. Yeah, and um, I had a look at some of the go compare uh, companies. Some of them I've not even heard of, honestly. And I'm like, oh, oh my goodness! But um, but you see, it's, it's interesting because one man's meets another man's poison. And if these uh, companies yeah. are going bust, two things: richer companies could pick them up cheap or pick up their customers. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. other thing is that um, it means it means less competition. Absolutely. Yeah, so the big, the very big companies will be rubbing their hands. I know. Do you know, this has been all day. This is me just sort of a sat down and um, I actually must have a bit of you. I've seen it. I was in there for a wee while then. I, I said, I need to get an a email to this, this gas uh, person because they've took money and they shouldn't have took money. No, they shouldn't have and, took money at oh, all. Honestly, Scotty. You know, you know that's the <laughs> stuff. Then, all right, I'm for a Scottie. I, I no, I'm just, but listen, you're in charge. Just say to them, listen, if you don't uh -huh. start sorting this out, I'll have to stop all these payments. 
Yeah. Cancel all like that. So you can't you cancel. You've signed. You say no, 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 no. You're not listening to me. You need to uh -huh. sort this out. Right. So, uh, am I? Can I cancel direct debits? Am I? Yes, you can cancel direct debits, but the only thing is just watch the contractual thing. <laughs> but you can right, cancel okay. a direct debit. You can stop right, a check. Okay. You can do all these things, but. Right. You know, you, you you have to watch that they don't go, oh, well, we'll we'll sue you for the money in. All that kind of right, nonsense. Okay. You start getting the letters through the I, but I think, but you on. see, even the letters on that, do you know what I mean? That's all mm -hmm. supposed to try and say we're in charge. Excuse and you, you've yeah. got to say back, no, no, I'm the yeah. customer, I'm in charge. Yeah. yeah. Your job is to provide oh. me with the energy on my terms. If you can't do it, then I'm sorry, you can you can stick it. Yeah, well, you've given me the energy to cope with us tonight. There we are. There's <laughs> going. I had a financial issue once. I got the ombudsman involved. It was sorted mm -hmm. in days. Really? Right, yeah. okay, brilliant. So Fantastic. Then. I'm really glad I phoned because I was honestly tearing my hair out of my head. So, oh, sure, you um, can do. You go round in circles. Yeah, and then the yeah. other thing is they put you on hold and they play classical music oh, and you're half an hour go, we'll be, we'll be coming to you shortly. Your call is valuable <laughs> to us. You think, shortly, but 25 minutes. I know, I know. What <laughs> shortly? Why we're all irate with the time they come on the phone. This is the thing. Oh. So, so what you need to do, D, to have a nice life is lengthen yeah. your fuse. So you think, do you know Absolutely. what? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stress about these things. Don't yes, stress. Don't try and not There's stress. Not stressful things going on in this world. We don't worry yeah. and we don't stress. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Very important. I've had enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, you take right. care of yourself, my darling. It's so you lovely too. to hear from you. And thank you, everybody, for your help. And, um, we'll and get there. Care. And if there's thank any more, just that. come back on and we'll get some more help. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dinky-doo. Okay, you See you, Angel. You Thanks Bye. again. Bye. Bye. There's Bye. RD. That's Bye. fantastic. Worried about her bills. Lots of people will be, but we will help each other. Scapa Flow from Texas is consulting tonight. Dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live with the internet phone in. This is big stuff, I see. There we are. Now... Who have we got here? Never a dull moment. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. How are you getting on? Who's that? It's Kenneth here from Kilsyth. Kenneth from Kilsyth. We yeah. love it. Lovely to hear from you. Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scotty. How are you doing this evening? We're great. Uh, are you enjoying the phone in, Kenneth? Oh, I'm loving that. Scotty, I used to listen to you years ago, pal. I'm glad to see you <laughs> back in the business. We're back in, we're back in business because I thought to myself, do you know, there's no point in sitting waiting for a phone call from a radio station because it'll probably no come. So what I'll do is I'll just go up myself. That's it. Sometimes you're better just taking that leap of faith, Scotty. You know, and I mean, well, what was going to happen? Either nobody phones. And if nobody phoned, I thought, I'll give it three months. If nobody phones, night one, we were stowed out the door and step it through. Oh, that's, yeah, Scotty, just I remind you saying earlier they are talking about trains. Yes. Well, I'm a retired train driver, you see. Fabulous. Trains all my days. Now, I've always wanted to talk to you because you're a man of experience who knows his stuff. And you're used to taking big responsibility. Well, Scotty, I'll tell you about the biggest problem we had in the trains. You can't get quality drivers like yourself. <laughs> I mind you saying about someone saying not to use the toilet in the station. Yes. Well, the biggest problem with these modern trains, half the people go into these toilets, you know, these fancy sliding doors. Yes. Well, they go away in and they forget to lock the door. Ah! So they're in there doing their business and the door opens and they get revealed like the prize in a 70s game show. Oh, no! And that's, you can't be having that in the trains. No. A lot of complaints of that, Scott. Well, I'm not surprised because I, I remember this sort of slidey door once. 
And I can remember when I was just sorting myself out, you know, and I thought to myself, I hope that door doesn't fling open. You can never be too sure. It's, it's, a, it's a risk that sometimes you've just got to take. What's wrong with the old doors with the big brass bolt on it that go from vacant to engaged? You know that's not going to open. That's quite a good That for was that. proper stuff. Definitely, Scotty. You need to bring them back. We should start a petition. I think we can be too modern. Do you remember for a while they installed them in the main streets? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They disappeared. Uh, they had the slidey put, door and all the rest of it. Uh, you put a wee 20 pence in and Aye. you put a wee in there. Aye. You popped in. No, it's, uh, it, but it didn't last. It's interesting. I well, this, this young generation, they don't keep anything clean and tidy. That's the problem, and they vandalise it, they throw the paper about and jam it oh. down the lavvy, and you wonder why you bother giving people like that facilities. That's it, Scotty. Tell me, are you old enough to remember the Giles cartoons? Giles cartoons? Giles, you used to get a book of Giles cartoons. I think, were they, were they was it the Daily Express Giles was in? I can't mind. Anyway. Uh, you got these wonderful books. They were very funny. And I can remember football fans had smashed up a football special train. Oh, broken dear. the basins and ripped up the seats and turned them into sawdust and all that. And the cartoon was just flat wagons. You know the flat wagons they used to set the containers on? Yeah, so it was just flat wagons and it said football special we thought you'd occupy your tiny minds by holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Scotty, would that be late 80s? Yes, yes, uh, 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s, I think. And at Christmas, you could get a book of Giles cartoons. And they were brilliant. And there was characters in them. There was like a wee, a wee fat wifey who was grandma, you know. Aye. Yeah, you look at that. Kaleo's going, I remember Giles on here. Fantastic. If we can dig up the past, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere, Scotty. You will have. You will have. Can I say what a privilege it's been to have you on and thank you for all the wonderful things you do. Right. Train thank driving you, has you got huge respect. You keep up the good work, Scotty. You are That's very kind. Good. And dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, buddy. All the best. What a top man. I love having a train driver on. They are so skilled. Guys, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the beautiful TikTokers. We love you, TikTokers. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every one of you. And ta-ra-las! <laughs>